Hello, welcome to Glass Tire, uh, top five for the week of October 17th. My name is Christopher Blay. I am Christina Reese. And this is... <laughs> We're at Aaron Gluley's uh, gallery. I still think of this as a pretty new space. It's new for me because I just uh, visited last week and you today. Yeah. We're late bloomers. Now she didn't move very far. She was just a few blocks over that way, and this is this is a nice complex with other galleries in it. But anyway, we'll get to all of this in just a second. Number five is Maria Antelman at UTVAC. Um, I really like the show. It is a sort of like a combination of collage and technology, and I really like the way she presents technology as sort of an image of ourselves and the way that technology functions uh, has a lot to say about us. So um, when artists tinker with things like microfish readers and collage them with other objects and materials, um, I, I really pay attention because I, I see us in, in the machine. Number four on our list this week is at Blue Star Contemporary in San Antonio. It is Joey Farso. Um, gosh, we're huge fans of her work anyway. And I think some people know that Neil Farso is a very frequent contributor. He's been a guest editor, mm -hmm. but it was almost like reverse nepotism. We found <laughs> him through her. We liked her so much that when she put forth her brother's name as a possible contributor, we jumped on it. Anyway, yeah. Joey's show, this solo show at Blue Star is really stellar. It's stunning. I think everyone agrees who has seen it. It's big. There's a lot of it. There's sculpture, video, a mural. She works in black and white. There's a lot of humor in it, but it's, it's called Teardowns. It's a very gentle, humorous critique of the way we build things up and tear things down. And um, the drawings are beautiful, the sculpture is beautiful, the videos are mesmerizing. Um, and I think that over the course of the exhibition, things are changing and they're getting yeah. torn down. And there's some uh, evidence of this in some of the videos. You see actors actually destroying works uh, slowly but surely. And um, but I mean, she, she's based in San Antonio. She started some of this work when she was doing her Blue Star Exchange residency in Berlin. And I can't recommend it more. I mean, it's just, and there's a lot of good shows over at Blue Star right now, and there's four of them, in fact. But um, please be sure to check this out if you're in San Antonio. Number three is Where We Are Now, Nick Nicosia at Aaron Cluley Gallery. And uh, it's 2017, 18, and 19. I like what's happening in uh, the transition from photography to drawing to sculpture because it, it sort of represents uh, a shift uh, that's been evolving since uh, Nick moved uh, back to Dallas. And it really is sort of a testament to artists moving on the impulse of the direction that the art takes them versus um, sort of rigidly arguing for staying in one mode and staying in one place. Um, influences are strong and um, artists respond to that. And uh, they sort of like navigate that space and that's what Nick is doing. And the work is um, really beautiful and comes across as very sincere and it's actually really good. Yeah, it makes me grateful to have him back in Texas. Texas is sticky and tends to pull people back. Uh, I'm not the one who coined that, by the way. <laughs> and I don't know who did. And I feel like if somebody out there knows who said that to me the first time, I wish that they would chime in and say it. Number two on our list this week uh, is just now opening. It is Robin O'Neill's 20 year retrospective at the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth. Uh, you've seen it, I've seen it. I got to speak with her yesterday. She is delightful. I've been looking at her work since about probably 2004 or mm -hmm. so. What's super cool about this show, there's a lot of work in the show and she says it's just a fraction of what she's done, which is kind of unbelievable. I can't imagine that. Uh, but which kind of is a testament to just how much work she makes. But but uh, I like the newest work tremendously. Uh, I like the old work too, but I like it that she's at this stage in her, she's still young too. I mean, right. to have a 20 year retrospective at her age is crazy. Yeah. But um, 
she's loosening up. She doesn't feel stuck in her own past or expectations of her. It's kind of like with Nick Nicosia. Yeah, it's yeah, it's drawing week in Texas. Uh, all the shows we're talking about are drawing shows, but it's also just sort of that um, power of mark making, but also the commitment is to the art and to what's happening at the time that the artist is making it. I mean, I don't want to make arbitrary connections, but I, I see things happening from artists that are matured artists, mm -hmm. know what they're doing, mm -hmm. um, sort of taking control of their process and um, moving in the directions that, um, that the work is taking them in, so yeah. And number one this week on our top five, I'm Brandon Zek, and I'm here in Houston with our special guest. Vincent Valdez. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we're here in Houston because you have uh, an event coming up with us, or we have an event coming up with you, uh, our Glass Tire Off-Road Conversation Series with you, Vincent Valdez, and John Keane, a writer based in New Jersey. I do, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'm looking forward to, to speaking with this uh, tremendous artist. I think uh, what I've read and what I've seen about John is that he is really a prolific artist who's really reshaping, reconforming, challenging the norms and the traditions of, of not only writing but of the American myth. And so it's something that seems like it's right up my alley. So I'm really looking forward to talking with him. Yeah, and I'm so excited about how both of your work kind of just matches up against each other or against yeah, each other perfectly. Um, this is going to be a great conversation. It's this Friday the 18th at The Match. And uh, also I have to throw in thanks to uh, an underwriter for the talk. We have 50, that's five zero free tickets to the talk. So if you email offroad, O-F-F-R-O-A-D, at Glass Tire, the first 50 people to email us can get a free ticket, which is a really great opportunity. Tickets aren't that expensive. Free is good. But free is good. So uh, if you're interested and you're the lucky person watching this video, get in touch and come to our talk. Yeah, we hope to see you there on Friday. Yeah. And that is this week's top five. Thanks for watching and go see some art.